All right, so this is more about the kind of dealing with some of the misconceptions on the more, let's call it romantic side of um, LIEs, so their FI usage. Um, LIEs are individuals that do measure the character of people. They're looking at, is this person someone that I do like, that I care about, that I can trust? What is their nature? What are they about? What are they interested in? Where are they going? Are they capable and competent people? Right. This is all within the FI kind of realm that the LIE is doing. And then based on all of that, the LIE is determining, do I want to keep this person close to me or not? Usually when they do keep someone close to them, it's very important to them. Those personal relationships really matter. It goes a long way for them. They pay close attention to the details of the persons that they care about, what those people are into, what they like, um, what do they think about, where do they go, where are they emotionally, like all these kinds of things. LIEs will do this. Um, they may not always show it because they may have more of that um, kind of cold, distant, NT-ish working kind of mentality. They might be a little harsh at times with people, but they do actually really care and they will go out of their way to help those people that they care about and those causes that they care about. I would argue LIEs are probably one of the most loyal types that will do whatever it takes to be there for those people they care about. Um, they're not always good at it. They can get distracted by their work and things that they're doing and, um, may even get a little sometimes like confused with new people that they meet and kind of evaluating new individuals and so on. Um, so they sometimes may trip up a little bit on the FI, but they do care about it a lot. This is common with really gamma and deltas that value FI. Uh, gammas are all in general, fiercely loyal to the people they care about. Um, uh, really defend them well, protect them well, support them, keep them close to them. Uh, it matters. It really is a significant part of their life, including the LIEs. LIEs just don't show it as much because, again, it's not as, as upfront and it's not the focus of their attention as much. In the way that it is with SEEs and ESIs, these SFs that have SE and FI upfront, Right. Their entire focus is on people and things that matter, especially the ESI. They're looking at the entire world through who matters to me, who doesn't, who do I care about, who do I want to keep close to me, who's related to whom, and so on. That's what they're focusing on. LIEs are more focused on, hey, what TE stuff, what works, what's applicable, what can I do, what can get done, et cetera. And what works, what makes sense is generally the most important thing to them. And sometimes that's going to clash with relationships and people. You know, sometimes people don't want to hear that they've made a mistake because they did something that doesn't work or they're fooling around and stuff that isn't useful. They don't want to hear that. But unfortunately, LIE almost can't help it because they have TE up front. So this can kind of clash with the feeling stuff a little bit. But it matters a lot. The FI stuff matters. Someone's character. Who can you trust? What's their judgment? Keeping them close to you, keeping those those deep emotional connections close really matters. This is a big distinguishing feature from, let's say, an LIE and like an SLE from Beta Quadra. SLEs, or the ESTPs, don't understand FI a lot. They don't really know what it means to like evaluate someone based on their character and how well you trust them or not trust them. How, what is the personal, emotional nuances to those people around you? SLEs oftentimes are, are baffled by this. They're confused by it. Um, and they can be much more transactional in their view of stuff. Like, oh, you're my friend or you're this person. And well, you don't want to be my friend anymore. Okay, well, whatever. And they just kind of move on. It doesn't seem to matter. Um, they can sometimes evaluate people as what can they do for me? 
What do they offer me? It's very transactional rather than do I like that person? Do I like what they're about? Am I close to them? Even if they don't offer me anything, even if they don't bring anything really useful to the table, I keep them around because I just like them. They're just important to me emotionally. Right. SLEs are often baffled by that. They're not really sure. They're, they're, they can find all that rather confusing. And so SLEs can kind of come across as being much more cold and narcissistic in that sense. Some of them can. Um, ironically, SLEs have FE valuing, so they can be a lot more um, expressive and feeling and out to have fun. Um be a little more part of the team, want to be part of the group and have a good time with the group and and they appear more feeling and, and so on and more playful a lot of times, maybe more playful and fun than LIEs who could seem a little too stiff sometimes. Yet ironically, it's the LIE who probably cares a lot more about individual people around them, cares a lot more than the SLEs. Um, so that's a funny, like, unusual difference that you could see there. Um, yeah, so it's a big difference there between them. Um, uh, so you probably notice the, the LIEs are also a little bit more private in their romances and their relationships, as in they don't really talk about it as much in publicly. Um, they kind of keep it to themselves a little bit more. You'll probably notice that their relationships tend to be much more stable too. Once they get into a relationship, it's probably something that lasts a long time. The LIE also may be somebody who just says to themselves, I don't want to get into a relationship unless I can tell that it's going to work. It's going to last. This is this whole T E N I thing. They're evaluating somebody going, is this relationship going to work? Do I like this person for the right reasons? And NI, where is this going? Is this significant? Is this going to last? Is this a relationship that I could foresee lasting for years? Um, you know, decades, whatever. If so, then the LIE is interested. If not, then the LIE is likely to say, I'm not interested. I don't want to fling. I don't want to deal with this weekend thing, like whatever. Um, and LIEs are probably pretty good at assessing someone that they've met and after a short time figuring out is this someone who's going to work with me long term or not and again if not they're not interested and want to deal with it if so then they'll be willing to pursue the relationship and take their time with it let it, let it develop sle's may be a lot more hasty not using that ni well and not evaluating the person right they just say hey this is fun this looks good now. And right now, this is a lot of fun and it's working. It seems interesting. So I'm going to go for it. So it's not uncommon to see SLEs and a lot of beta quadratypes for that matter, um, have a lot of relationships in their, in their history, in their background. And many with probably a few disastrous relationships, like just epic with wild stories and weird stuff that goes on in there. Um, that's part of the lack of any NI usage, the lack of FI, not really understanding your connection to the other person, the emotional needs, how you feel, and also just being easily capable of moving on. Just saying, okay, this relationship's over. It's not working. It's not fun anymore. It's not worth. All right, well, whatever. Bye. I'll just find someone else and move on. LIEs are much slower than that. LIEs, once they get attached to somebody, they, they have a hard time detaching and moving on. It's difficult for them. It's painful for them. It's not, it's not how it works. So anyway, that's some, um, hopefully working on some of the impressions and misconceptions with um, FI in terms of LIEs, relationships with LIEs compared to other types.